Hi Gemini. Okay, the first card here you have the Tower card, followed by the High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. Okay, let's see what's happening for you, Gems. Starting off with a Tower card, sudden shakeups and developments surface for you. I think there's some sort of news coming in. It's unexpected news, Gemini. It may change something here for you. I'm not sure if you were planning this or not, but there is unexpected news or changes, um, sudden breakups, sudden... Um, dissolving of relationships, sudden turmoil may come in. Now, this, it's nothing you can't handle, but I do think that it's definitely going to change things for you. Now, for some of you, it could be in career and creative pursuits. There could be a project you're working towards and suddenly the tower moment comes in and disrupts this. Um, it's in the same column as the five of wands, so I'm wondering if this is more so to do with your relationships, your uh, professional relationships and business collaborations. There's lack of a cohesion. There's lack of cohesion towards a business project something that you've been trying to build from the ground up. I feel like there's difference of opinion or exterior influences that are actually intervening in business or project plans is what I'm seeing. In regards to love, I feel like there's a reveal happening. The tower card is sitting next to the high priestess. I feel like there's a reveal around someone you're coupled up with. Um, you do have the sign of Taurus that has come up here with Earth Energy with the Hierophant. So if you are dealing with the Taurus Gemini, there may be sudden news or revelations um, regarding this person or regarding someone you're coupled up with here with the Hierophant. It could be in a marriage. It doesn't necessarily mean your relationship is going to dissolve, but there is some sort of reveal that's going to um, shake things up a little bit for you. Um, it, it can also be representative of one night stands and doing things that are perhaps not ideal. For some of you, I feel like you're tiptoeing around someone else. I'm not sure if you're playing with fire here a little bit, Gemini. Um, it's either this person is taken or getting coupled up, um, but you're, you're somehow involved in their situation um, or you're thinking about contacting this person maybe. Um, you know, you're sort of you're treading lightly around them for some reason or another. Now, this could be someone else. The swords are you, but this could absolutely be someone else that's displaying this sort of behavior. But moving on with a high priestess, some of you, it is a pregnancy, a sudden pregnancy in the family. It may be your own. Um, it may be someone you're very close to, a very dear friend, a family member. The high priestess does bring a prophecy forward. So I think this sudden news or whatever it is, I mean, for some of you, it's a surprise engagement. You know, it's not all bad with the tower card. It can just mean it's very sudden. For some of you, you know, it can be destructive in the sense where it's a sabotaging of friendships, relationships, etc. But for others with the Hierophant next to the High Priestess, this could actually be a surprise wedding, um, a surprise commitment, or someone surprising you. Lots of revelations. Um, it could also um, involve... This this card could also symbolize um, emphasis on spirituality and or religion. I see that you're holding an important scroll here. So for some of you, you're awaiting some sort of documentation. There could be some sort of delays. I'm not going to lie. Um, I see, especially towards the beginning of the month, there could definitely be delays. A bit of hurdles up ahead. But the good thing is, is that towards the end of the month, things could improve. And then you find stability. Taurian energy is stability. So you find some sort of key, the key to your future, the key to your paperwork, the key to this important document that you've been waiting to receive, the keys to your new home, whatever it is that you're sort of waiting on, Gemini, this could actually happen. But I fear that you're going to have to just be patient. I know, I know, we're not very, we're not a very patient bunch. But, um, you know, if anyone can bounce back from this, it's us. So... That's really, really good because the Seven of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. This can be deceit. This can be beating around the bush, not being entirely honest, not opening up entirely. Now, this could be you, Gems. This could be someone around you. I feel as though you're holding back from something. Uh, you're not wanting to open up completely. I think a reveal needs to happen, but you're looking the other way. Look at that. You know something needs to be revealed or something needs to be told, but you're looking the other way with the Seven of Swords. You've got your, you're, you're turned away from it. You're beating around the bush. You know you need to admit something or confess something or say something or someone around you, a business partner, a friend, an associate, a lover, a sibling. There's some sort of confession or reveal. It, it needs to come out to the light. 
It, it needs to come to the surface here, but I can see that you're beating around the bush and you're holding back from something here, potentially here, Gemini. Maybe for some of you, you're suppressing your feelings because other people are involved and you don't want other people to get hurt. This can be gossip, slander, uh, defamatory talk as well, coming from you, coming from other people, possibly a fire sign, Gemini, uh, sorry, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. It's also fire energy, so uh, you know this is quite a confrontational energy or it's argumentative in some way. Um, I feel like this could be with friends or people you're working with, but I do see there's lack of cohesion, there's differences in opinion, and I think you're just so adamant on getting your opinion forward and just doing things your way. I'm not sure if there's a sense of urgency around you and there's a reason why you sort of need to expedite things for some of you, but the Five of Wands could definitely see some sort of um, lack of cohesion here for some of you. And it could involve a fire sign. It does sit in the same column as the tower card. The tower card is fire. It's lightning. Um, you know, this, it could be a group setting. So I'm, I'm leaning towards if you're working in a collaborative environment or you've got a large circle of friends, there could be some sort of confrontation or some sort of conflict within the group. And I don't know if you're treading lightly because you want to avoid that conflict and not really take sides. Um... It may be involving two people, and one of them may not be you, he gems, but for some reason you're still involved in somehow and in some way, and maybe one uh, someone around you wants you to take sides uh, with the tower card. So that could be the case for some of you, because it is, as I said, in the same column here. Um, also jealousy and competition. Either people are competing for you or there's someone around you feeling jealous or maybe you're feeling jealous. There's a lot of people here. So there, there seems to be a lot of people involved or a lot of people's opinions that are being shared. Whether they're welcome or not um, is what I'm seeing here with the Five of Wands. You're going to have to come to the rescue in some way here. It's about you taking the initiative with the Knight of Swords. He charges towards the Five of Wands. Almost, it's like he's ready to break this up. He's got his sword up. Whether you're a male or a female watching this, he's got his sword up and he's ready to charge and ready to, to get into this. So something needs to be faced head on. And I think there's mixed, mixed emotions or mixed reactions. So I feel... Like the, 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 the words that I want to articulate is it's that it's time to charge forward. It's time to move ahead. Um, it's time to confront this, whatever this is that's going on around you. Um, and it's almost like you're coming to the rescue. It's, it's going to be something that you're going to have to initiate, whether you want to or not. I don't know if time is of the essence in some way for you. Um, it could be. The Knight of Swords is quite an impulsive energy. It's also thinking before speaking. I think there might be something you might convey or reveal or mention or expose and perhaps you're not ready. So maybe just take that extra time, extra hour or two or day or two to think, to, to sort of mull things over, I suppose, um, and make sure what you're wanting to communicate is, is actually what you want to communicate. Um, and it's not just, you know, irrationality or being impulsive or being a little bit hot-headed, which we can be at times. I'm not going to lie. So, you know, maybe this Knight of Swords doesn't, there's, it could be also there's a sense of urgency around a, col around a collaborative project here and no one seems to be doing their part. And it could be a little bit frustrating because you might have a deadline. You might have to have, you need to present it to someone or show someone of expertise or, or to pitch a, a creative idea or a product, a service, he gems. So this coming up could very well indicate that with the Knight of Swords, this sort of energy is, um, you know, is you trying to carry the team in a way um, or something like this for some of you. Maybe this has something to do with the changes from last month. For those that had major changes happening around their life, maybe this these reveals these, you know, things aren't going as planned or things aren't happening as quickly as you'd like and maybe we need to be a little bit more patient here. You do have the Hierophant. Um, it is a Taurus here, but it's also it doesn't have to be. It is someone that is ve ve very well respected, um, is very knowledgeable, is very wise. It's also commitment, um, engagements, possibly marriage, or there's a blessing happening. You know, there's two people here, the key and a priest sort of has his hand up in, in blessing something. So for some of you, you know, the notion of the two pillars, two people, black and white, yin and yang, um, two people coming together. 
Um, a blessing needs to happen, I think, for some of you. I'm not sure if this is an engagement. Um, it could be like a religious event or ceremony, a, a blessing of some kind, um, a requiem mass coming up, um, a christening, a baptism, a baptism or something of the sort. But this could very well be involving some sort of union or project um, but I feel it involves other people. So if it's if it's in career, I feel like it involves someone else around you um, as well. And if it is a coupling up of some sort, I feel as though this this there's religion and spirituality that has brought you two together. Um, for some of you, I, I know I'm I'm probably sounding like a broken record here, but you keep getting a Taurus um, every now and again. For some of you, I feel like there's a Taurus that's, that's, that's destined to be in your path. Now, this doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a friend. Um, one of my best friends is a Taurus, so she's constantly coming up in some of my own readings. Um, but they're around you, or they're going to be around you. They're in your prophecy. They're going to help you in some way. It could be someone you meet at work and they help you. Um, they help you get promoted. They help you learn some skills. They help you make new friends. Um, it could be someone you meet in a relationship. The two of you could end up married together with children. Um, for others, you know, it, it could be that you're coming into Taurian energy here as well, some of you. Um, and now this could appeal, uh, this could apply to some of you who are on the cusp as well. And maybe this could indicate those that, that, are, that are on the cusp of Taurus um, and Gemini. Uh, maybe this applies to you more if you're closer um, in terms of being on that cusp or being closer to those dates of Taurus and Gem uh, when Taurus is coming into Gemini. So that may be applicable for you too, because there might be a reason why it keeps coming up every so often. But look, I do think um, there is a continuation of changes. The tower moment can see sudden changes and then there's, there's a, a spanner thrown into the works, um, which changes things, changes group dynamics, which changes a relationship. Um, it's just the notion of things happening very quickly. You know, the Tower card happens very quickly. So does the Knight of Swords. So I'm thinking there's a lot of... It's definitely a shape-shifting month where a lot of things continue to change for you. But I definitely feel a reveal needs to happen and it, it's coming closer. You know, the time is near. Um, and, and I think it could very well happen this month for you, for those that have something under the surface that they need to reveal to someone else, either revealing their feelings, um, revealing their true thoughts, and confessing something here, maybe it's deceit, um, you've been treading lightly because you haven't been able to freely express yourself, maybe there's too many people involved, but I think that you're coming closer to a time where you're just about ready to make the reveal, um, maybe even some sort of shocking revelation as well. So let me know how you go there, Gems, um, and, you know, and how this reading may apply to you. Now lay out six more cards for love, romance, and relationships to see how these general messages apply to you. Now, shocking revelations and discoveries would probably be the main theme for you, whether it's about yourself or friends. You're definitely learning a lot, revealing a lot to other people. Okay, you've got a card that flipped over, which was the Seven of Wands. Um... The Three of Pentacles, the Moon card, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, some of you are receiving, there's definitely tension between a fire sign for some of you, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be towards a fire sign. I don't like to pigeonhole, but then I do like to be specific at the same time. So please, you know, try and interpret these messages as openly as you can. But I am seeing the seven of wands with the five of wands. There's resistance that's coming from a fire sign. I'm not sure if this person is resistant to coupling up or they're resistant to the sort of relationship you're wanting here. There's some sort of conversation you may have or you've had in the recent past with this person and they've shown a lot of resistance they've either completely disagreed with what you're wanting um, or maybe what you're asking them to do here Gemini or they're being very pedantic about how they want a certain relationship here with you I think you've tried to talk about this here Gemini but to no avail I don't think there's been any success or any breakthroughs with this person and they're still continuing to be in this sort of phase here so maybe they need more time you know the, the three of pentacles is is earth energy so it's being very grounded it's being very mature it's being quite practical in a situation here so I think an attempt to be quite practical or have a good practical rational setting in a relationship has failed with a fire sign here and I do think that you know I, the fire sign could see 
if you're involved in a fire sign relationship, it could see a bit of turbulence. I'm not going to lie. Again, I don't know if it's other people coming into play here. Other people's opinions that are completely outside of this relationship and don't really understand the ins and outs of your relationship may be coming into play here because the three of pentacles, three is a crowd. Three is already an exterior opinion. An outside thought, an outside view, an outside expression that's coming into the picture here for some of you. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, you did have Taurus energy. So I am seeing um, a, some sort of discussion take place between some of you. Now, for some, it's like home plans or um, buying a property or a house because it can be assets. It does sit near the Tower card, which can be homes, um, renovations or something like this. Even business plans, I, I feel like there might be some delay or you might have to rethink the strategy of how you're going into business together if this is happening with an Earth sign or even if you're going to business with anyone here. You've got Cancer. I know you've got Taurus here, but anyone that you're sort of hoping to go into business with, it, you know, that you're involved in a relationship currently could see some sort of delays and maybe it's to do with legalities or contracts um, or certain certain paperwork that needs to be done here so I don't you know I don't want to make it too much about business and career but I think that this card can very well indicate compromises and sacrifices that need to be made in whichever whichever aspect here there's definitely some emotional upheaval coming up you do have the moon card um, what I like this is that you will come out of it towards the end. I think you're coming into a very good phase. I do think, you know, the moon is nurturing energy. It's feminine energy. Um, you might be, especially if you're a female watching this, I feel like you might be a little bit offended by what a partner has to say. I feel like the female in a relationship, so if you're a Gemini man and you're dealing with a female, I feel like the female in a relationship is going to be more upset Um because the moon is feminine energy. The sun is male, but the moon is feminine energy. And it could indicate tears. It could indicate someone's emotionally heightened. It could also indicate intuition. Maybe you're evoking your inner feminine side and your emotional side. Because I am seeing with the moon card, there is emotions involved this month. I'm not sure if this is in the form of tears, Gemini, but there's something happening here for love for you. Um... But the, the, the water also represents cleansing. And it's interesting the moon card sits near the high priestess. Will this reveal, this shocking revelation, discovery, or reveal, announcement, somehow impact you very emo in a very emotional way? Um, you know, the Knight of Wands is here, and he's a little bit temperamental. So again, I'm seeing if there's a fire sign who's also going to be impulsive here. There's impulsiveness. It's coming in the form of the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So you both could be impulsive here. Um, I think you just need to bring it back to this. I mean, like you, they're both moving towards the Three of Pentacles. So there needs to be a discussion here. Um, you need to take things down a notch is what I'm seeing. For some of you, um, impulsive news, you know, something that comes very quickly, impulsive engagements for some. Um you know, but this is quite temperamental energy with the Knight of Wands. It is a messenger. It is a traveler. So some of you could be meeting someone very suddenly um, from abroad. But because what I love is that you have the Ace of Cups here. There's a new romantic relationship coming in for some of you. And it's absolutely a wonderful relationship. It's pure in intention. I think someone's going to be very real with you. Or you're going to be very real with them. And I think this is the theme for you this month. The Ace of Pent the Ace of Cups, this is purity. The bird is pure. The bird is a, a messenger. The bird is free. The bird is independent. The bird is air energy. And there's an outpour of emotion. This water that emerges from the, the fountain. It, it almost looks like limitless water. So there's definitely an outpour of emotion here. This is the hand of God offering you what could be a potential connection here. And I do believe it's with a water sign for some. Especially a cancer. But for others, this is a fated new relationship. This is also a rebirth. The Ace of Cups can signify cleansing. So if you are going through the tower moments and possible deceit or you're beating around the bush here, um, communicating your true feelings, Gemini, what I love is that look at this towards the end of the month or towards the end of the reading here, we have the Ace of Cups sitting next to the Nine of Cups. Everything will fall back into place once more. Your wishes will come true. The outcome that you had hoped to achieve will be given to you almost on a silver platter. Well, in the form of a golden chalice here, really. But silver platter, gold, uh, golden chalice, 
um, tomato, tomato. Like, honestly, I feel like the the nine of cups is a wish card, is a dream card, is everything aligned, everything falling into place again. But again, I feel like this is coming towards the end, just as the Hierophant is the end card in the general read. The last card in the love, um, specifically the love and um, romance, is the nine of cups. So there is a wish fulfilled. Someone you've been wishing for could come in very, very quickly here. Um, you may be a little bit resistant at first. They may be resistant, but this is the dream card, the wish card. It's someone that could tick a lot of boxes for you. Could be quite established, could be good looking, could be very spiritual, could be very funny, could be very humble, could be very intellectually stimulating, whatever it is that you're searching for. So that's a very nice spread, particularly towards the end. So don't fret. Whatever happens, happens, but we'll get through it. We always do. Okay, let's have a look and see. You've had a few more cards fall out. Is it enough for career? It actually is six cards, would you look at that? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what do we have? I'll start off this way. The seven, um, seven of pentacles, ace of pentacles, ten of cups, the star card, eight of pentacles, and temperance. I definitely feel career is a shining point for you. I see you working on your finances here, assessing finances and growing them in a very beautiful way here. You're going from the ace to the seven to the eight of pentacles. There's definitely finance coming to you, Gemini. I'm not sure if this is from a creative venture, a creative pursuit of fame, of something that you're doing in the public eye, or perhaps something you're doing with a family business or something like this, but I see that your finances are growing here. You're assessing your finances. Things are getting more complex. Things are getting more serious. You're accumulating skills, finances, talents, or something of the sort here. I also feel like there's an array of opportunity around you in regards to work. I do see a new opportunity coming up, a new job prospect coming up. It's going to be quite an intimidating interview, but you'll you'll definitely grasp the attention of people that you're wanting uh, to grasp the attention of. The major reveal could be the job. And I'm not sure if this is jealousy coming from friends. I'm not sure if you might be hesitant to tell someone about the job at first. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's a job that isn't something you normally do. Maybe it's something you don't want to open up to other people about. But this reveal could definitely be in the form of getting a new salary or a new income stream for some of you. This is the hand of God, a fated opportunity. Um, it's one that could bring you a lot of finance or money and stability. So it's something that you could be doing in the long term, he gems. It's not something temporary, unless that's what you're wanting because I do see the ten of cups this can be a family business looking to the rainbow in the sky um, I feel like it could do, could have something to do with imagery design fashion colors creativity uh, decor beauty um, makeovers anything to do with this sort of looking at the beauty um, you sort of have a creation here so it could be quite artistic um, it's something that other people can appreciate um, you, because you do have the star card, which can indicate fame, and then you do have these people sort of glorifying the rainbow here. So it's something that will be a reflection of you, um, and it will re be received very, very well here. This could also be a presentation. Again, it's the element of the rainbow in the sky, you shining. So I'm not sure if you're performing, you're in performing arts or something like this. Some of you gems in production. You do have the star card. This could be production and being in the public eye. But I do see that people will be glorifying you. Um, it's quite a feel-good energy here. I also feel for those working in a team environment, um, what I love here is that although you have the Tower card and the Five of Wands, which is quite a heavy energy, you also have at the end of it, which is the Ten, Ten of Cups. Now, it's nice that the Ten, you know, the Five comes before the Ten, so there is potential to heal this sort of collaborative uh, project so, um, and and pull through with a good outcome, you know, um, pull through with the right results that you've been hoping to achieve. So I do think there's, there's, there's hope is what I want to say here. Because you do have the star card as well, which is healing and cleansing. So I'm not sure if you'll actually be getting rid of some people here in career. There could be up to two people that walk away from the job or the project, maybe because of resignation or because they're being let go. But I do see this. There could be some cleansing or some, it's almost like a purging of some kind here, to use medieval terminology. And I do think because of this, it's you're going to cleanse. Either this is your business, you're going to cleanse, but there's a shake-up. Something will happen. I'm not sure if it's theft, disruption, disharmony. Lack of skills, lack of commitment, but as a result, it could very well see some people leaving the workplace. The Eight of Pentacles, you're working on your craft, you're working on a business, you're working on your own skills, you're expanding your inventory, you're expanding or building on your existing skills. This is the notion of expansion, hard work and abundance. But you're working to create something here and it's only adding to what 
you already can deem a success here, Gemini. So something you've already been working on, you've had in the works, you've researched it, you've been wanting to get it off the ground, you actually will. The temperance card is here. Alchemy, creation, something you've been waiting for. And this is Sagittarius energy, and this is a very honest energy, Sagittarius energy. So this is finally being admitted to the world, to the media. You're finally actually launching something here. You've got you've got something that you can you've you've produced something that people can see in the tangible, in the physical realm. You've it's taken you quite some time here with the temperance card, but I think this creation, you know, it's meant for you. It, it's star quality. Um, which is really nice to see. And maybe the reveal is the reveal on what you've been working on. Maybe you've been working on um, tarot or launching a tarot channel or um, launching an art gallery, launching a, a photography event, um, you know, launching your own personal shopping business, launching your own construction business, you know, for the gents out there. The Eight of uh, Pentacles is manual labor, is physical work, anything you've been crafting on your own. And as I said, the notion of working from home, because this is a family card, an opportunity to accumulate or build on your finances, or maybe providing your services to family, family homes, family assets, um, repairing things, etc. This could also be applicable for some of you gems out there. But the Temperance card is a beautiful card. This is an angel, so I feel like you're being divinely guided in your career, in your creative pursuits. Um, I definitely feel career is very strong for you, so take us, uh, take advantage of that as much as you can uh, during this time. But look, I hope this reading has been insightful for you, Gems. Thank you so much for watching.